just make sure you get the EM3770T bell door. Look at the efficiency, 91.7 out of the box. We're going to bump it up about 3%. There's the motor. First take the screws off the, the fan and pry off that fan with a screwdriver because you're not going to need it. It runs cold. There it is without it. And pull the long bolts off to the left hand side out and remove the end caps and armature very, very carefully. Pull that out, try to lift it out. There's the bearings. We're going to pull the uh, grease caps off, snap them off. That's what it looks like. Going from the inside of the shaft, use a small screwdriver, pop it off, spray it with carburetor choke cleaner, or uh, soak it in uh, some automatic transmission fluid. Get all that grease out. You're going to re lubricate it with a high precision oil. There it is, it's clean. Put it back in, lift it in, don't drag it in. Make sure you don't touch these windings. You don't want to drag it across the windings. Now there it is, it's sitting on the cart and uh, it's, it's actually running in this picture. You can see the batteries down below, you can see the gauges, it's uh, plugged into the, the Variac, the Variac's plugged into the inverter. Uh, there's capacitors that uh, I've tested on the table, fans off of it. And we'll go into more detail on that in just a second. Hurry up. <laughs> okay, it's running at 1790. There's, two, there's the start capacitor and the oil cap. Uh, pulling 12 volts from the batteries. Uh, 4 amps at 12.17 volts is actually what it's drawing. And so that comes out to 48.68 watts. And the Variac is set at 30 volts delivery. Wiring it together for into 460 volts, uh, bringing 110 volts in, and uh, running through. This is a start capacitor. It's uh, 160 microfarads, about 250 volts. This is the run capacitor here. It's an oil-filled cap. Uh, it's 25 microfarads at about 370 volts. I've got some others up here that uh, I'm going to try. The the start capacitor I'm using right now is in between these two so it works pretty good but I'm, I'll try the small one this is its maiden voyage so I'm just going to show that uh, that's just the top of the it goes on right there and uh, anyway these are these are the smaller run caps and right now I'm using one that's that's probably in between these two a value somewhere in there so uh, the idea is to go with the smallest one you can run your load and uh, you know just uh, take advantage of the horsepower okay I need to do this test one more time I've got the rotoverter running I've got a bridge rectifier inside the box now so the two little lines coming out right here are now just rectified DC power positive and negative and I've got the uh, I've got this meter connected to the battery which is 11 uh, volts right now 11 0.03 pretty low and we're drawing 160 watts of mains power to run the rotoverter okay so again we're going to connect the battery and see what happens to the wattage on the input side okay and it was around 160 and now it's 91 Sometimes it drops down to uh, 89. Sometimes it drops down to 87 to 88. But uh, roughly, yeah, see, now it's up to 93. So it kind of bounces around. But look what the voltage is doing on the battery. It's overcharging. It's up to 1713. So it's, uh, it has reduced the wattage of input for the, for the rotoverter. And yet it's charging the heck out of that battery. So. Uh, someone said, well, you know, I bet it won't do that if you connect the resistive load to it. Well, let's give that a shot and see what happens. Sparks. So here we go. Here's a, here's a, I just connected this here. Here's a 60 watt bulb here. Uh, 60 watt, reveal. So let's give that a shot and see what happens, see if it'll light it up. And see what happens to our oh, back over here. We're at 159 watts of of uh, input to the rotoverter. So let's just keep this in view for you here, and let's see what happens when we connect that. 
Okay, yes. All right, it's fully illuminated. It's connected. And what is our wattage now? Down to 144. Oh, can you see that? And the light might be too bright for it. 144, 146 now, 144, okay. So it's not 160, now it's down to 144, and we're running a full-blown resistive load here. So it still, with the resistive load, it still drops the input uh, wattage that, to run the rotor way the heck down. And uh, that's pretty amazing. And, and we haven't even hooked up the new configuration of the Quanta charger yet. Now, wait do you see this. Uh, not this one. This. <laughs> this. This mess here. Oh, it's, it's not a mess, though. It's a beautiful thing. You'll see. That's coming up.